Well, hi guys, welcome to RCC Adventures on a slightly uh, surprising video, actually. Because uh, Ron, at the moment, and I did kind of notice it yesterday, but Ron at the moment has no brakes. The pedal literally goes to the floor. Now we're hoping that it's just as simple as the, the fluid is low. Because it is low, if you look in there, it is quite low in there. So I'm hoping that is the case. Doesn't mean we're going to have to bleed the brakes. But why is it low, isn't it? Yeah, it makes you wonder. Because um, when I drove home yesterday, it did feel like there was a lot of pedal travel. But he's always had pedal travel. But it seemed a bit more than normal. And now the pedal goes straight to the floor. Yeah, and there's no resistance whatsoever. So we have well, to look into it. So it was an inter in interesting drive I've just had. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I went to go and get stuff for Dindins, because you've got to have a roast on a Sunday. Now would it? Here in the UK. Um, after watching him, and yeah... Yeah, it was entertaining. Yes, yeah, so now with this, because it's got it's got no um, uh, power steering, would it have a servo? Don't know. Either way, I think if we're going to have to get to the master, we're going to have to take the front off. Yeah. So. Or is it underneath? Could be underneath, but it's better access from well, no, front the coming off. Well, no, the is going to be there, isn't it? Yeah. Where the, where the uh, reservoir is. So the front's going to probably have to come off. Now, being it's left-hand drive, and it's over here, is there link, what sort of linkage is there? Mm. Do we have warm linkage? Good well do. So, yeah, we're going to investigate that. Um, find out why he has no brakes. But also, at the same time, we've got to fit new discs and pads on Louise. Because, um, yeah, they're non-existent as well. Yeah. And also, as well, as I'd done a neighbour's car yesterday that had brake problems as well. That had a seized caliper. So, yeah. in 24 hours, there's three vehicles um, <laughs> with uh, brake problems. Just call us RCC Adventures Brake Specialists. No, don't don't no, call us that. None of them work. We can't be specialists. <laughs> brake, um, we do Try them. Try to fix her uppers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we do them. Anyway, right, so we'll get on with this and um, hopefully we have brakes again. We'll see. <laughs> So we'll try and get the grill off. I know it wasn't that long ago, it's less than six months ago since the front end actually was off. Just trying to remember how to do it. Little tabs, I know that much. Are you working? No, you're not. Uh, useless torch. Yeah, so we've got to get the front off, see what's going on. Because, um, you know, fun and games. Now don't worry, this has been off before we had it as well, so I'm not being aggressive to it much. Uh, uh, huh? I'm just trying to remember. Where you go? Ah, there's the top. I found it, I found it. Is it up or down? I say a door that like. And then we've got yeah millions. Two this side, two that side, and then the sides. Three on the sides. And then we, I think we've got one up here as well. Yep, yeah, one up there. All right, let's remove that out of the way before we break it. So you, you can tell that we've we've moved the cars around.
Well, it's not exciting news, is it? Okery pokery, don't you mean? Okay. Not hidgery piggery. Okery pokery. Emma's being camera lady today with no microphone because she can't speak. No, she's been really struggling on the on the on the talking thing, <laughs> which is unusual for Emma. So that again, what was that? <laughs> it's, it's really hard for her to talk, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult for Emma. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh yeah, because there's one, there's a bolt there, isn't there? Yeah. So that one was just to take that access panel off. That's yep. to undo there. Two down there. Yeah, I think that, I'm going to take the other plastic cap off. Yeah. Are they, are they going to be the same size as that? I don't know. It's all remember a ring. Right. Right. No, even next size then. Yep, got it. I'm putting the screws in the little pockets for each side. Right, yo. Ready, yo. Right, you left, left and right. Right, so the ones on the top here are the same size as the front. This is where it's going to be F1 style mechanics. It won't be. <laughs> Yeah, be back out on track. <laughs> McLaren were quicker, they sort out their brakes. <laughs> oh look, brakes. Brakes, yeah. So there you go, we're part of McLaren. On a German car. On a German, got some Mercedes. No, maybe not. <laughs> this has got sides, this has got square side scoops, just like the new Mercedes. Yeah. <laughs> Is it bugging you? Yes. A buggy's bugging him. One. Okay, there's more than I thought. There's four along here. So we might use this opportunity to dry the med lights out and try and see them. Yeah. Might as well. So uh, other than doing this and doing. Um, the brakes on Emma's car. We'll then be doing a video that isn't to do with brakes, hopefully, yeah. on a certain vehicle that is turning up today, yeah. which is a replacement for a certain Aston Martin. You remember the Aston Martin that was uh, on the channel as a review? Yeah. It's now a replacement. The DB7 i6. We've replaced it with something else. Yeah. Couldn't afford to run it basically because he has a new job. Yes. And uh, you have to stay tuned for that. Obviously, it won't come out at the same time. Why is that now spinning? That feels like it's spinning. It's because it was. That's that one out. That one out. Do you want me to do the other side? A bat? A bat. Oh, bat. With the doors open, it looks like it had wings, and now the windows are down. It's got bat wings. <laughs> <laughs> Smaller wings! Yes, yeah, so if, um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, we do this kind of thing a lot. We do reviews as well, which we're going to be filming later, hopefully. As long as the weather holds. And, yeah. We go to shows and all that sort of thing. So if you like that kind of thing, if you could subscribe to the channel, it'd be great. Your buds as well. Yeah, share it with friends. The more people that we have on this channel, the better. Yeah, One thousand subscribers. So we're almost at three eighty, I think it is. So we've got quite a way to go, but you know, let's let's build on that. Let's build on it. Then you get money then, don't you? Yeah. Start earning, and then more projects like this could happen. Hmm. You might be out of here, Dad. I'm not sure. On this old girl. You might have to speak louder. I said on this old girl. That one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> right. So uh, we'll come back to you when uh, the front is off, which hopefully is only in a few seconds. That should be it, shouldn't it? That should be it. You should now be able to pull the front off. 
You ready for a faceless smoker? Oh, That makes sense. I'm away. Oh, hang on. Oh, uh, yeah. Side repeaters. Side repeaters. They don't want them. They twist them. Yeah. There you go. Frontless. So, I don't think we ever showed that, did we? When we no. done the front before. No, because uh, when we did it before, it was yeah, just as pictures. And the back comes off the same as well. Yeah. As one whole piece. Unless you decide to hit a car block. Shh. We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I think we might have a leak. No, I reckon one of the pipes on the bottom of the uh, reservoir. How can you be confused about a smart car? At the back. You not been watching my videos? The camera operator has not been watching my videos. What? She didn't know where the engine was. Can you call yourself uh, an RCC adventurer? <laughs> right, if everyone, if everyone in uh, in the comments and um, all like the other bits as well, if you can all call her a non-adventurer, that'd be great. Thank you very much. No, don't do that. Just mean. <laughs> <laughs> She's busy. But yeah, this is what a front of a smart car looks like. No engine. It's at the back. Do you want me to clarify what the engine is for you? Come here, I'll show you. Because there is probably viewers out there that don't know. There's me mocking, but you know. We'll move these. Pants. So in, in a smart car, under here is the engine. See? Engine. Nice and small. Little three cylinder with a little turbo. With literally the inlet and outlet size of the turbo is about a two pence piece. In the UK it's about that big. So it's really small. Ah, people have arrived. Ooh. Oh, got them. Just a little note to um, Smart, the company. Why are they all the screws a different size? Why can't they be the same size for one panel? Uh, yeah, being German. The German like to mess around with the English. Yeah. Don't mention the war. <laughs> right. Uh, shiny, isn't it? Hello. Well, there's no. Hello. I can't see. No, I think we've got to get a headlight out as well. Yeah, oh, but yeah. I. Oh yeah. I can't see that the mast is there, so you might be right. It might be underneath. It might be mm. a, um, a floating system. Right. We'll up, we'll update you a bit more on the. Yeah. Right. So what we're having to do now. Is uh, as you can see, the cars up on the on the ramp, and uh, we're having to get underneath because we haven't located where the mast cylinder is. I believe it's underneath the pedal, which is on the floor. It just makes it a little bit more fun. And there's one tray underneath. We'll take off. There are the joys of working with little cars. It's all packaged very nicely. They're easy to take apart. 
quite like it. I'll say the tray under here, which basically covers the whole bottom, is about the same size as what a tray would be on a modern, normal size car. Width ways. Can you see what I'm doing? You know what that is yet? Yeah, so we've got to take this off, locate where the master cylinder is, which we've got a feeling it's underneath the pedal box, which is a floor mounted pedal box. Undo them. Not that way. Right. To the side. Don't bring that camera around here because I've got a beer in there. It looks bad. <laughs> never looks bad, Grandad. Never looks bad. <laughs> right, so is that integral to that? <coughs> yeah, probably might be. That's okay. Hello, what in there? Come there. I know you're holding the camera. You get my extension which is around the front there. I love the microphone. I've got the microphone. The extension piece, you can see it right here. On the floor. Sorry for the dodgy angles guys. Alright. Although you're used to dodgy angles, because it's me. It's getting rather warm. Oh, I took my hat off. We're not moaning, though. We're not moaning. Well, we are. We're British. We're allowed to moan. <laughs> We can moan when it's too cold, when it's too wet, when it's too dry, when it's too warm. Just warm. Moan. Warm. That's a long screw. But that is what is holding in that panel. So. Jolly good o. Right, other side. Here we go. We will one day have an actual workshop with a lift. I don't want to put a water over. No. What you, what you need is a gazebo. Mm. Oh, there is, there's a bigger, bigger, bigger gazebo. Ryan does have one. He had, he had a. Is it a white one you had, Ryan? No, it was Dad's. Dad does. It was what he used to paint the 2CV. Oh, yeah. that's right, yeah, yeah. That's what he used when you swapped over the two Mickeys. Yeah. Yeah, do watch your videos. At times. Yeah, if you don't know what we're on about on that video, there's two videos where um, I had an old micro, which was a W reg, had all my modification parts, then put them to the current Mickey and put all the parts over. Oh yeah, there it is. Got it. That's an unusual looking master, I'll tell you that. Going to do a shot. Right, so where I'm looking, because it's a floor mounted um, pedal, under there, so you look over here, that's where the pedal is. You've got the servo at the back there and the master in front of it. So we're looking at that and any corresponding pipes, see if there's any leaks. And then uh, if we can't find any leaks, then we'll bleed the brakes so we still get nothing and we're going to have to change the master cylinder. Which is the silver bit, right there. Which looks basically just like a tube. Could be quite involved. But we will do it. We will succeed. Hello! So yeah, that's uh, how far we are at the moment. And uh, it's going to be more faffing. How big is it, boy? Big, big well, the servo is that size. Oh, right. And the, the thing is that. So yeah. The master's quite, he's quite chunky for a master. Yeah. Especially on uh, something this size. 
wouldn't expect it to be so big, but because it's probably an electric pedal that then goes to a master, then goes to a servo, I suppose that's why it's so big. <coughs> Which none of this we touched when we put it back together, it was all at the back. We put the engine yeah, back yeah, together and yeah. put it back in. And, and such like. It's a shame we ain't got any lowering springs because we fit them right now. <laughs> That'd be fun. You can get to the radiator, you can get to the steering rack, anti roll bars, suspension, coolant pipes, you can get everything. And it's all covered by this panel. Right, we'll be back to you later. So we are currently uh, trying to breathe the brakes. <laughs> Giving that a go, see if that works. Um, Otherwise, it's a new master. Well, unless you, unless you ain't noticed that it was really low. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I, know, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't been under there for a little while. You know, it's um, not exactly the easiest place to see. No, you might not yeah. have even. It might have been low before and it's just gone. But I yeah. imagine there's a leak. I just wondered if you could get that cut off. It looks like it's, a bit, it's like a, it's like a drain hole. Yes, we're using a pressure test kit, so you use a spare wheel, pressurises the system, then you don't have to be pushing on the pedal. Tell me when, John, and I shall stick it on the tyre bound. Alright. <laughs> you know that, uh, hang on, bottle? Hold on, Jeff. Uh, right. You know the bottle that I've got, yeah? Yeah. You can do that. Well, they do really work. Right, so we're trying to push out all of the air. Is that what they're doing? Yes, pushing out all of the air into the system, so you've got... No, it's deflating no. the tyre. No, it's blowing the... <laughs> you're using the air in the tyre to push the, the air out of the oh. system. Yeah. Yeah, because as I say, if you can't do that, you yeah. see that pump. Yeah. It way really works. Hmm. What, the vac pump? For the, the, yeah, the oil? Yeah, the vac pump. Got a, oh, okay. If you have to use your own tyre, make sure you've got a pump. Because <laughs> you'll come and go, oh, I've got a flat tyre now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. You have to pull out the AA. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're currently doing at the moment. It's trying to bleed the system. Oh. So I put it on the. Yeah, we've got a pump. Yeah, put it on. Yeah. No, no, because it's got to be. It's got to be a maximum of twenty psi. And what are these in here? Probably about. About thirty odd. Thirty-two. We'll come back. Well, as the uh, the wind picks up. We are um, we're still bleeding the brakes, we're having to do it the old fashioned way and um, push the pedal instead of using that valve kit because the uh, tyre ran out of pressure. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, hang on. I get the blick. I'll put it underneath the back wheel. Shocked. Yeah, so uh, as I was saying, we've got to bleed the brake the old fashioned way. We've done this at the two backs, now we're doing the front. Ryan? Yeah? Can I have that clamp that holds in the cover up at the back thing? See it? Clamp? What clamp? There's a clamp holding a plastic clamp. Yeah. Holding the cover that was hanging underneath the car. Oh, yeah, that's it. Red handle. Right. That's it. Lovely. Hey, go. Right, okay, we have a pedal again. So it was more than likely there was a lot of air in the system and the, the, uh, the fluid being low. So uh, we're now going to put the car back together. We're rubbish. We are rubbish. We, uh, when it comes to a car that we use a lot, we don't maintain them very well, it seems. But uh, yeah, we'll put it all about together 
and uh, see how he progresses from now on. Just keep an eye on it, really. But we had to, uh, as I said before, bleed it the old-fashioned way, and that's going to each corner, starting with the furthest away from the uh, from the um, reservoir as possible. So it's on this car is the the back left, which in most cases is the same. And then work your way around, getting all the air out of the system. And yeah, so if you like what you see, please, guys, like I said before, if you could subscribe to the channel and uh, share it with lots and lots of people, and uh, give this video a like and a share. I know uh, a comment, not a share. Oh, you do a share, but not. You know what I mean. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.